Hey folks, this is Luke at Heart of the Cards with a quick run-through of how Bushiroad's upcoming new game, Rebirth for You, is played. Uh, we're all really looking forward to it here, so I hope this helps you out. Alright, so in Rebirth, uh, cute SD characters from multiple series battle for victory with support from their encouraging friends and partners. You win if you can get seven cards in your opponent's retire zone here. So, here's where you play. Your deck goes here. Your waiting room is for discarded cards. If you ever run out of cards, by the way, uh, you just flip your waiting room over into your deck and shuffle it. If you're familiar with other Boost Road games, just to let you know, there's no penalty or cost for doing this. Run out of cards, new deck, no worries. So the entry ring here is where your current fighting character goes. The member zones, which are there's three of them, is where so their supporters go, and they rest to encourage the entry character to attack. Uh, energy and partner zone is where uh, energy which is face down cards, and partner cards, which are face up partner cards, are, are placed. These are used to pay for costs. You rest one uh, card for each one cost of a card that you want to play. Uh, the retire zone, which I talked about before, is where uh, defeated entry characters go. Seven here, you lose the game. Um, the rebirth zone up here is where rebirth cards go. Um, this is a big zone. There's room for more than one card, so even if there's one here, you can play another one and another one, and so on. Uh, lastly, there is your hand of cards. So let me go over the cards in the game. So in your deck, there's two types of cards, rebirth cards and uh, character cards. First are character cards. These are character cards here. Character cards have a cost, which is how much they cost to play. They have an attack and a defense, and then they have a uh, name and card text here. Uh, second are rebirth cards. Rebirth cards are sideways cards. They have a uh, name and card text, and you can have up to eight of these in your deck. Your deck is 50 cards, by the way. Next, you have partner cards. These are not part of your deck. They are separate from your deck. You have three of them, and they're partner cards. So let me show you how the uh, game is set up. All right, so first thing you do is you... Uh, uh, search your deck for a cost two or lower character and put it face down into your entry ring. Then you shuffle your deck and draw three. You then add your partner cards to those three cards and that's your hand. There's no mulligan or redraw or anything like that. Then you decide your first and second player. Okay. Whoever goes second chooses one of their partner cards from their hand and puts it face up standing in their partner zone. Uh, this is called partner preset. Both players face up their entries and they begin to play. So here's how a turn goes. First is the standby phase. You draw a card and then you stand all of your arrested characters. So if there are arrested characters here, you stand them up. You also stand any energy and or partner cards that you have. Then the energy phase. So if you want, you can choose a partner card from your hand and play it face up into the energy and partner zone standing. If you want, you can choose a any card in your hand and put it face down in the energy partner zone as energy. You can do both of these in the same turn. All right. Uh, after that is the main phase. There's three different things you can do in your main phase, and you can do them as many times as you want in any order. First, you can pay the cost of your entry ring character and pull it back to an empty member slot. So this costs two, so I pay two and pull it back. Goes to, back to empty slots. Now, this is an important point. Uh, whenever your entry is empty, you perform a uh, act called entry in. What it is is you flip the top card of your deck. If it's a character, it goes into your entry zone, okay? If it's not a character, let's say it's a rebirth card, it goes into the rebirth zone. And then since this is empty, you then flip again until you get a character. The uh, When you flip a character over, or when you flip uh, any card over, character or rebirth card, if it's got a spark ability, which means it's a yellow card, um, you do what that spark says and then continue on. Spark abilities could draw you cards, get rid of opponent's characters, give power to that power attack or defense to that character for the turn, or so on. The next thing you can do is, let me give you an example here, is you can play a character from hand to any of these slots, the member or entry. You pick a slot, pay the cost of it, and play it down. If you play over a character, the character under it goes to waiting room. 
This means when if you play a character from your hand to entry, you're definitely going to be overplaying a card. Because whenever this is empty, you perform entry in. Okay. The third thing you can do is you can play a rebirth card from hand. When you play a rebirth card from hand to the rebirth zone, you get to draw a card. This is not part of the, the text on the card. When you play a rebirth card during the main phase, you draw a card. And then you do whatever it says. Okay. After main phase is the attack phase. You can attack starting right from the first turn, first player. So let me show you how attacks work. Setting up stuff here. Okay, so um, we'll say we have this, uh, this rebirth card out here. It says the first attack per turn gets plus one, plus one. All right, so the way attacks work is this. There's two types of attacks. The first is a regular attack, or a normal attack. What you do is choose one of your members in the back row and rest it. This encourages, it's called supporting, the entry member to attack. It doesn't add its power or anything like that. It just means that it attacks. At this point, the opponent can discard a blocker card. Those are those green cards. Yep. If they do, this attack does no damage and is over and done. Otherwise, what happens is the attack of that card is placed as damage onto the defending entry character. So this is a three attack, so it gets placed on here. If a character has damage on it equal to or greater than its defense, it goes to the retire zone. So this is three to that three. So it goes into retire. And then since this is empty, they entry in. For example, this here has a spark. Its spark says that this card for the turn gets plus two, plus two. So this is now a, instead of a four, five, is now a six, seven. Okay? Oh, and if the damage on this card is not enough to defeat it, the damage sticks around for the turn. So this card, if, if this, say, got three damage on it and it's at a seven, it would have three on it, and then the next attack, if it did four or more, would set it to retire. Uh, damage goes away at the end of the turn. The second uh, type of attack is called a partner attack. For a partner attack, when you rest your, your member to encourage that to attack, if you also rest three standing partner cards, the opponent's character is defeated. There's no blocker step, there's no damage, they just go straight to retire zone. And then, of course, they entry in. So, if you have three of these standing, you can do that. Um, again, something to, that I talked about before was that you don't add your power to this when you support. There are a lot of characters that have abilities like that. For example, this one, when it rests to support, you can put it at the bottom of your deck. In exchange, uh, the card, uh, the entry member gets plus one, plus oh. You can to, you attack as much as you want until you're, you decide you're done attacking or you have no standing member cards down here. Once you're done with that, it's the end phase. You take all the cards in your rebirth zone and you put them in your waiting room. You only do this for the player whose turn it is. If your defending player, for whatever reason, has a card in the rebirth zone because they flip something over as during an entry after defeated character, those cards stay there until the end of their turn. So they stay there at the end of this turn, and then during their entire turn, they are on the field. Um, now that your turn is over, your opponent takes their whole turn. Draw, stand, energy, etc., etc. Back and forth we go until someone's opponent gets to seven cards and retire, and then wins. Uh, there's a lot of stuff on cards. Some cards have what's called a skill showcase, and it has their level there. What the level is, is you have to have that many cards in your member and retire zone together to do it. For example, I am level three, because I have three cards here and zero here. This player is level two. They have zero cards here, but two cards there. Um, some cards have abilities that are labeled as recombo. What recombo means is if there is a card in the rebirth zone, this ability is active. Uh, all this stuff, translations, uh, more detailed rules, frequently asked questions, where to buy, uh, tournament stuff, and upcoming sets are all available at heartofthecards.com, uh, so you can go check it out. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Have a good day.